Hello and welcome to this quick time lapse. My name is Emmanuel and I am a comic book artist. Uh, my comic is called Tales from the Interface. In a slowly decaying futuristic city, social class is determined by the amount of time you spend in a wor virtual world called the Interface. Today I am doing things a little bit differently. I wanted to take to uh, do my take on uh, Santa Claus, a kind of post-apocalyptic, uh, futuristic, uh, and overall different take uh, on the Santa Claus character. Uh, he's wearing some uh, kind of winter style uh, elements like the visor that's typically for those uh, explorers in the North Pole or something. But yes, kind of a military kind of look to him. I wanted to add some little pouch, uh, Rob Liefeld style. That's always funny. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, he lived through these clothes. It's not his first time outside and he's, uh, he's been repairing them. So you can imagine that he, has, don't, he doesn't have too many elves to help him yet left. Uh, so now I'm working kind of, kind of, you know, just trying to figure out all those, um, those uh, winter gear and how what they look like for him, uh, kind of inventing as I go along. This is the kind of drawing I often do uh, when I uh, sketch in books. Uh, you know, maybe not in this amount of detail, but sometimes if uh, I get inspired, I might go that far. And then, yeah, I just try to add some fun detail, like the little uh, those spruce on the belt. I think that was fun. And uh, of course, more pouches, little uh, pipe, that's fun too. Yes, kind of a Gandalf thing, I guess. Uh, his pouch is not too full, so I guess he's back from uh, giving uh, gifts to, to, to kids in the post-apocalyptic winter. And uh, yeah, so he's also thin, so I guess he's really has trouble to find food as well. So that's one courageous Santa Claus. And yeah, that's about, yeah, I'm just finishing the, the cane here, which is in actuality a candy cane. So I thought that was kind of fun. So I'm really just finishing the ink. Now it's done. Uh, just putting my little bird there, it's my logo. And now uh, I'm just flattening out the color. Uh, Clip Paint Studio does a terrific job of this. And uh, it's, it's, it makes it a cinch compared to how I used to do it in Photoshop. Uh, it's very simple color team. There's just a few colors, mainly red, uh, pop of uh, yellow and orange, and a little bit of brown, and some some accompanying color uh, like the beard. And uh, you can see later I'll put a little bit of uh, gray on the headphones as well, but very minimal. Oh yeah, and the green of the belt as well. But overall, a very simple color team, but I think it works well. Uh, I think this is typical of my kind of coloring. Uh, just keeping to those contrasting color. The, the, the scarf is different too, I thought it was fun. Uh, just to make him stand out a little bit from the typical Santa Claus. And I don't know what those things in his belts are, but they're pretty cool. Yeah, the red pipe worked well. It was white, but I thought they were red, contrasting more across, on top of the snow. And I go along, I fix some of the ink that uh, didn't go too well. So now I'm working on the shadows. I didn't put any highlights actually in this uh, Santa Claus, I believe, just shadows. And I think already, you know, it, it creates a pretty good look, kind of satisfied. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, so just trying to make him a little bit more treaty. I could have gone further, uh, but I think it came out okay. I'm pretty happy with this drawing. I kind of wanted to, to do it uh, in, a, in a specific amount of time. I didn't want to spend more than one uh, one night on him. So I think this was overall a couple of hours. And yeah, so I'm, I'm almost done with it now. It took me maybe two hours, I think, something like that. Yeah, just finishing up those shadows.
and I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, and if you like my art, uh, just feel free to go check out my uh, website where you can read uh, Tales from the Interface. Uh, and you can also purchase my book on the same website. So I hope to hear from you. Bye.